So, Mulan's wack goes to opening in China. This is just absolutely laughable. We're really seeing the end of Disney as we see it. Mulan brings in 23.2 million opening during wack goes to opening weekend in China. Despite this, its competition are doing quite well. So, they saw another similar movie called, uh, I think it's called 300, and Tenant is also doing much better in China. Hanging the weekend, the film's perception. And with the public has murdered calls for boycott and smattering of poor views. So we estimated that only around 91% of China's fears were open over the weekend. But Zordi had a 50% cap on attendance. But however, Mulan still flopped. Only 23 million. Disney had high hopes that Mulan would make $400 million or some big number in China. Hoping that it would, you know... We, for, we, you know, make up for the losses it would have made in the other countries. But nope, it didn't do that. Nobody wanted to watch this. Because people are sick of Disney's garbage. Okay? We had it enough after Lion King. Yes, the Lion King made $1.6 billion. But people, after that, people were starting to realize that Disney's remakes were garbage. Murders and Mistress of Evil put underperformed greatly. And let's not forget the big flop that was Artemis Fowl and Call of the Wild. Which are two other live action movies that Disney made. And again, Call of the Wild was a Fox movie, but Disney owns Fox, so it is a Disney movie now. And no one's tenant has hold. 30 million. Okay? A week ago. And Buwan's opening was very similar to the releases of Cinderella and Mercy and Mrs. of Evil in the country. It's right to note that the market is down 50% from last year, notably the Lion King scored 55 million in China. That's made that, that, that yes, the around 97% of China's fees are open. And of course, we all know it's competition, the 300 or whatever that movie's called. That movie made like three, $350 million in China. And yeah, that movie, and this is, and Buwan is expected to beat that movie. In China, and it's just absolutely ridiculous that we want that Disney, that you know Disney didn't get much help from China. You expect it to do much better in China, but you know it's despite this, the movie's flopping everywhere. It's flopping everywhere. Nobody's watching this movie everywhere, and really, it's just nobody cares about Mulan. Nobody cares about Disney's Mulan movie, <clears throat> and it's underperforming on VOD. So expect it, you know. And this movie cost $200 million to make, so it's probably around $500 million it needs to make. And considering that it's probably around $100 million, that is probably, no, no, it's probably around $440 million, $500 million, $450 million. That means Disney lost $200 million on this movie so far. Yes, $200 million on Mulan, basically, already. You know, probably will will it down to like $150 million or $100 million. But even then, Mulan was going to be a heavy hit, but it might still be... A big hit, but again, the movie has flopped. Okay, you know how much the movie has bought from Disney Plus has not been announced, but food put indicates the happy for what the studio has seen. As well as saying that something in the one million hot toys is future movie in its opening weekend. That will count to like, okay, I actually don't, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah that's that's too hard. But yeah, the movie is forty dollars, so that's probably around forty million dollars, I think. For Mulan, if we do 1 million households, so that's around 67 million dollars. Excuse me for, you know, acting like Goku Dell. But yeah, that's basically it. Mulan made 60 million dollars, basically. And yeah, this movie's a flop. <laughs> and it's, it's still like a loss of like 300 million dollars still. Yeah, Mulan will probably sort of down to 150 million dollar loss or 100 million dollar loss. But yep, that's basically it. Mulan continues to fail. And that's basically it. Goodbye.